The View, Whoopi Goldberg praises Joy Behar for ducking a dirty Trump joke, video. After almost two decades of working together on The View, Whoopi Goldberg knows when her co-host Joy Behar is about to say something naughty. And on Wednesday's, July 31st, episode of the talk show, she offered praise to her fellow panelists when she opted not to go below the belt during a discussion of Donald Trump. For the first, hot topic, of the day, the team, which was missing one in Alyssa Farrah Griffin, decided to revisit a fiery moment from Kamala Harris's Atlanta rally Tuesday night in which she challenged Trump to a debate, saying, So he won't debate, but he and his running mate sure seem to have a lot to say about me. Well, Donald, I do hope you'll reconsider to meet me on the debate stage because as the saying goes, if you've got something to say, say it to my face. Goldberg was the first to respond to the footage of Harris's closing comments, saying, We told you she wasn't gonna take that. Cause she's heard all of that stuff before. This is nothing new. Your taunts roll off her back, man. You have said all of these things about so many of us. So many women have heard, oh yeah, you're only here because you're a woman. You're only here because you're a black woman. You didn't actually earn what you have, dot. Sonny Hostin then offered up praise for Harris's performance at the Georgia rally, saying, I loved yesterday's rally, actually, and I thought it was very intentional because if you look at the Georgia electorate, the black vote is almost half of it. And it was held in Atlanta. They were swag surfing in the audience. They're having a good time. There's an energy that I have not felt or seen since I think Obama started running. It's a very different feeling. She then noted that Harris's turn of phrase in her challenge was something she grew up hearing from her own Peach State-born father. She's now flipped the script. She's taunting him. He has indicated that he may or may not debate her, but if he does, it has to be on Fox News. I think he's shooketh. I think he's scared. I think she will wipe the floor with him. I think she will be a savage debater. I think she is well well trained, she's prepared, she's presidential, and I think he's scared. Hostin added. That's when Behar chimed in and agreed with Hostin's words but added. He keeps backtracking on a lot of the things. Things are starting to look bad for him. Now let's remember Joe Biden debated Trump basically because his numbers were soft. That's the real reason. And Trump thinks that he doesn't have to do it, but his numbers are softer than his midsection at this point. Although Behar's Beltline joke earned a spirited response from her co-hosts and the audience alike, Goldberg knew she could have taken it a step further, joking. I think you handled yourself very well. Cause I know where you could have gone but you didn't go. I already did the stormy, Daniels, material last week. Behar retorted, fact check, this is true. Behar then stated her reasons why she thinks Trump will accept the opportunity to debate Harris, saying, According to a Bloomberg Morning Consult poll, she is beating him by 11 points in Michigan. I mean, unless he pulls out the old I've got bone spurs, he's gonna do it. Cause he's gonna have to do it.